Welcome back, you guys. My name is Legit Lee, and today I just wanted to show the people that are interested into the servo motor controllers that I got. Because I made a video many years ago about a 32 channel, so 32 servos on a controller, and I still get questions to this day about it. And I know I wasn't exactly showing where I got the program from so this new servo controller I just wanted to show everybody where I got it so over here I actually bought this servo controller from Amazon and I messaged the seller you can see right here this is the store it's called High Wander it says 16 channel PWM servo motor controller so I messaged him before I bought this and I asked him if I buy it, would he send me a link to where I can download the front, the software for it? So he said yes, so he sent me the link after I told him that I bought it. And this is where it was at, it was on a Google Drive. So all you do is click on the first one, the LOBOT Servo Control PC software. And then you just hit the download button and I downloaded it. And I actually made a file on my desktop, on my computer here, for the servo controller software and the information. So over here, if you click on, if I click on that, you can see it says LOBOT Servo Control PC Software. So if you click on that, I got Windows 10, so this does 7, 8, and 10. So I just click on this one, and then this orange little icon I clicked on that that's the application and it, it will install and it did on my computer and right here there goes the same icon it came up on here for a, a desktop icon that I could click on so if I do that you'll be able to see it and also inside of the files they have a PDF document and how to control it using an Arduino to the servo controller so uh, like an Arduino IDE motherboard like the Arduino Uno or like a Nano or the Mega pretty much any of those may work for this controller so you can communicate to both and over here I got a lot of the PDFs and you can see some of them up over here so this right here is the one that I bought the 16 channel one that's exactly what it looks like and now that I have the software open let me just show you what it looks like so this right here it says bus servo control version 2.12 so you can see that it's red over here the circle because it's not on I have to flip the switch on the um, controller there's a on and off switch so once I turn it on now you heard the make the noise and it sells green wire connect so now I actually have three servos connected so I got D1 D2 and D3 so if I just adjust and move these around it actually does move the servo and if you want to see it actually fully working and moving I'll make another video about this and another issue, there is an issue with this, um, this controller because every time I turn it on and, and try to move, like it winds up stalling out and won't let me move any of the servos again for some reason. So I have to keep on shutting it off and turning it back on. So just like that, now it's disconnected. And if I turn it back on, now it's connected again. And see, I'm able to move. D2 and now for some reason it stopped wanting to move again and I was just moving it a second ago so I don't know if that is an issue for the controller or the program so I'm just shutting it off but um I will let the seller know about the issue see if he can tell me what I could do to fix this so that way I don't have to worry about shutting it off and turning it back on over and over again so D3, I don't know if you guys can hear that, but it was moving a second ago, and again, it stalled out, and then now it's not moving, and D, 
One isn't moving. The two isn't moving. The ID, none of those are moving again. So that's the issue that I keep having is having to shut it off and turn it back on. But I hope you guys like in the video. And if you want to see a video of the actual servo moving using this software that's right here, let me know so I can make a new video about it. Thank you for watching and I hope this helps out the next person. And just so you know, if you decide to buy this, just make sure that the seller, you contact the seller and he, and you tell him that you bought it and you want the software so that way you can use it. So that's how I was able to get this software. I hope you guys are liking the video. Please like, share, subscribe, and let me know what you think in the comments down below. Now I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.